Unfortunately this is the reality fighting against the entire opposition fighting against vested interests of the media everybody wanting that visakhapatnam is not declared as executive capital this is the reality everybody should keep this in mind understand this reality now moving further wisak would have to develop i am assuring you case is going on we have so many people trying to oppose everything but i am assuring you post election my stay would be in vizac in fact my swearing in ceremony also would be in vizac this is my commitment to vizac and now what is the vision for vizac see we, we need to have 10 year vision we would have to own this city kharsan the city as executive capital become part of the city and have a 10 year vision you know we need to have a road map which is workable which is doable cannot be a road map where we just dream big but yet achieve nothing because it is impractical not so we need to have a practical solution we need to have a practical approach and we need to have a vision which is realizable in 10 years time of course this vision is one vision which cannot be a loan done by state government it would have to be the state government it would have to be the central government it would have to be a ppp model it would have to be encouraging private people also to become part of the vision